because we want you to uh, to be caught up on everything. Okay. Okay. We'll catch you up on everything. Okay. The um this is a busy week. This is okay. the third week and uh, it's coming up to midterm. Midterm is on Tuesday, 10 o'clock, the midterm exam is due to my email, correct? Great. Wonderful. So um, there are several sources that you can use to find your uh, answers. And uh, so it's open book, open website, and uh, one one of them is your your textbook um, I sent you the link so that you can register for that textbook and uh, the rest of you all already registered for there uh, it's just the uh, the new students that we want you all to register for that the new students okay what um, what do you need to do as it relates to your eight assignments your eight assignments. Let's go to your syllabus. Pull your syllabus up and so that you can see those eight assignments. One, uh, 25 points for your class attendance. You've done very well on that. Uh, we just need you to make certain that you are uh, still participating in the class discussions for your other 25 points. So that's 50 points you should have from the start. Correct? That's correct? Very good. See so you there. Thumbs up. Okay. Uh, what about your journal entries? This is your third journal entry is coming up and one is due tomorrow. You've already done the Who Am I and you, you've done Jonah. Jonah is the book of the Bible, and you are writing on that two or three paragraphs. So that's uh, what you, the new students, uh, you want to write your two or three paragraphs on Jonah. And uh, so that we can see your sample writing. The first one was, who am I? Uh, the, this week, the um, the journal that you're going to be doing is uh, about inclusiveness and that how can I be more inclusive and accepting of others. That's due tomorrow. If you need more time because you're working on your midterm, just write me an email and express that, that I need more time. Uh, is it acceptable if I get it in on X date? Uh, this week. How does spirituality play a role in inclusiveness in your lives or in people's lives, individuals' lives, in students' lives? So that's what you are writing about uh, for 20 more points. This Your journal writing is five of them, one per week, and that will give you 100 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20, 100 points. You're trying to get to uh, the A, 450 points, but, and you have a way of getting there. The other assignment is the campus-wide scavenger hunt. The campus-wide scavenger hunt. How many of you, uh, just raise your hand, how many of you um, have gotten those? Email. You got the email. Thanks a lot. Okay. You got a chance to look at it, some of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, M, uh, you're in the second group. What are your numbers from what to what? You're in 20, 21 to 40. Is that your, are those your numbers for the scavenger hunt? Mine is 41 to 60. 
41 through 60. Very well. Very well. 41 through 60. And you and then you just put um, PSC Hunt with Me 2020 on each one of them. Did you see that? In the email. Did you see that in the email? It was the directions. <laughs> it was the directions. <laughs> Did you see the the directions? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go go back and reread the uh, directions. Okay, so that's that scavenger hunt, and we'll do that Friday uh, in uh, class and Zoom. We'll be live, and um, I'll be following you on your PSC uh, at PSC Hunt with me um, on your Insta on someone's in your group Instagram or face Instagram or Twitter. So this activity is designed to see if you really know how to work with groups. And it's going to test your group dynamics and your understanding of how to work in groups. Because I'll be observing you. And uh, uh, I'll see who the leader is. So leadership is going to be tested. And leadership is one of your seven timeless human values. So you'll focus on that. Uh, I'll also get uh, an opportunity to um, see you work on your affirmation boards. That's worth 50 points. So all of this is in your syllabus. And your autobiography is another 50 points. It's in your syllabus. You'll dream big. Uh, toward the end of the year, end of the the uh, summer program, and you'll 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 write extensively on how you will get to your goal of being that doctor, that pharmacist, that that uh, uh, whatever your major is. Uh, you will be focusing on my freshman year. I'm going to get in these clubs, these organizations, because that's going to help me. Uh, the, at the end of my sophomore year, I'm going to be a, doing an internship. My plan is to do an internship that will get me into business school or get me here. Uh, so that's what you're dreaming big. That's worth 50 points. And then your service learning project, uh, which you are continuing to work on this week as well, worth another 100 points. So all eight assignments should come to 450 points if they're done with appropriateness. So uh, today, uh, what are we uh, focusing in today that will get you to that point? Can anyone tell me uh, you, the book wants you to focus on um, becoming independent versus Independence, interdependence versus independence. Are you, how many of you are dependent upon your, your parents to tell you when to study and when not to study in college? Have you become independent of your parents when it comes to education and college? So that's what you, uh, they want you to begin to focus on. Am I, a, am I still dependent or am I independent? Talk to me. Let me hear some, are you still dependent upon someone telling you when to get up and when to study? And no. you, you're not? Okay, no, tell me how that works. How that, what, what it, how do you, how do you become independent and stop becoming dependent upon others? Because I know I got a good gun, so I just do it on my own. I don't want to have to know what to do, I do it on my own. Yes. Okay. Do you have good study skills, study habits? You don't need anybody. Say it again. So 
so they could be bitter. They could be bitter, big, big bitter. better. Um, yeah. What are some strategies for success where you don't have to depend upon your folks? Uh, what are some strategies for success? Skills that you need to start now in the start program. You need to start in the start program and show that uh, you have some skills. How to get started? How do you prioritize? Do you prioritize what to do in the morning? What to do in the afternoon? Eight o'clock, I'm gonna do this. So you prioritize, okay? Write, write that one down, because I don't want you to forget that. You prioritize, okay? Uh, do you find a good location and a place to study? Uh, do you study around the young brothers and sisters? Okay, write that down. You find a great place, a great location to study. Uh, do you plan a great time to study? Time is of essence. Or you just plan it by ear. Okay? Okay, because the book mentions uh, on page 163, that you are uh, that you are employing interdependence um, from being a successful student. You can either be a successful student, or you can be a struggling student. A struggling student. What book are you looking at? Your textbook that you signed up for. You signed up. You haven't. Uh, you haven't initiated the student sign up. I sent you that link. Uh, I sent you about eight, eight emails. <laughs> okay, if not, email me um, uh, so that I can send that to you, the link. Okay. All right? You're emailing me now? Very good. Yeah. Okay, and the code, and the code. You want the link and the code. All right. Okay, your classmate, you could have gotten that. <laughs> Ms. Medley, <laughs> you could have put that in the little uh, chat. <laughs> you, you know you know where to find chat? Okay, you know how to put it in the chat. <laughs> it's worth a try. You got to learn your technology. <laughs> okay, uh, and the code. Uh, okay, um, so you found a great study location, you found a great time to study, and now, did you choose which subject you were going to study? Whether it was math, whether it was English, whether it was uh, personal and social development, which class are you going to study at 7 o'clock in this nice location? So that's what you're going to do, okay? The subject, it's important for you to designate and so that you will no, I'm going to study this at this time, and so forth. Okay, the um, getting information sources. It's important for you to get information sources, such as a dictionary, a ruler, calculator. If you're in math, the, you, the, your paper and pencil. Get your computer out. You know, you get get your reading, your notes. So, and what about a study partner? Are you all using study partners? It's going to be very important for you to become independent workers and independent thinkers. Get away from that dependence of people telling you what to do. Learn what to do. Okay? Does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, the uh, some people walk early in the morning before an exam to get that anxiety out of them uh, what do you do some people walk some people run what do you do before an exam to get the anxiety out of you do you read 
Do you draw? You 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 read you draw, okay. And um, you review your homework. Make certain that you review your homework. Uh, this is important for you to do it. This course is designed to help you with your other courses so that you get a head start on your other courses by focusing in on yourself as the individual learner so that you are, you are become independent thinkers and doers and not dependent because you're breaking away from the dependence of your home environment and to your uh, college environment, your career environment, and your life because you'll be having to manage your resources and pay your, pay your mortgage, pay your rent. So make certain that you get all of the keys uh, to be effective in your study skills. And these are keys to your effectiveness in your study skills. Study long periods of time, uh, over a long period of time, and don't, do not cram. I got next week. No, you have this week. And then you don't cram. So that's what you... You gotta make certain you don't cram. Um, put your notes, break your notes out into sections. So have your little notebook such as uh, a little notebook such as this that you can put your uh, things in, your materials in. And uh, you'll become much more organized because you you have eight assignments to do, and it's a matter of you uh, focusing in on those eight assignments one by one by one until you get it all done. One by one until I get it done. Does everyone understand that? One by one until I get it done. Okay. So, uh, that's that's that one. They also have it broken down Jonah chapter 2. Jonah chapter 2. Jonah is one of the smallest book in the Bible uh, and you were supposed to review chapter 2, a psalm of thanksgiving. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish, saying, I called to the Lord out of my distress, and he answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. You cast me into the deep into the heart of the seas and the flood surrounded me all the waves and your billows passed over me then I said I am driven away from your sight how shall I look again upon your holy temple the waters closed in over me the deep surrounded me weeds were wrapped around my head at the root of the mountain I went down to the land whose bars closed upon me forever. Yet you brought me up uh, my life from the pit. O Lord, my God, as my life was ebbing away, I remembered the Lord and my prayer came to you unto, into your holy temple. Those who worship vain idols forsake their true loyalty. For I with the voice of thanksgiving will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will pay. Deliverance belong to the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to the fish and it spewed Jonah out upon the dry land. And so you got to remember 
that there will be some dark days in your lives but you remember that when you have that spirituality about you Philander Smith College is a religious spiritual institution a part of the United Methodist Church and so when you study the spirituality part of your seven timeless human values I hope that you will remember the story of Jonah and become that independent thinker. Now, let's focus on interdependence. You talked about independent. Now let's focus on interdependence. What do we mean by interdependence? Are there resources in which you can go to so that you can be helped throughout your college experience? Do you need tutoring? How many of you utilize your tutors or will utilize your tutors? I do. You do? Okay, what time do you utilize your tutors? Seven to ten. That's correct. Seven to ten. And so now uh, I want you to list about seven or more, seven, at least seven of the uh, resources that are available to you for your college success on the Philander campus. What's available to you? And you named some of them already, but let's see uh, if you can um, not be that struggling student and become uh, interdependent on you working together with various offices for your success. You can go to your professor. That's one of your sources, right? Yes. Okay. What's the second source that you can go to for inter, to build an interdependent relationship? What other source? I said your advisors. Yes, the advisors. So that the advisor is going to help you choose the type of classes that you will take in the fall right? The advisor. Okay, that's great. That's great. So you're going to have a fight. Uh, what type of advisor? You're going to have an academic advisor. What about if you needed money? Financial aid. You need a financial aid advisor, right? So you, you need an academic advisor, a financial aid advisor. What about Tutoring. Tutoring. You need a tutor. And that's all of this is free services that Philander Smith College offers. So tutoring is very uh, important. Okay, what else do you need? Suppose you have a uh, roommate problem or boyfriend-girlfriend problems, relationship problems, what source do you go to? You, you, call, your, you call your parents, huh? <laughs> you, don't, you, you don't go to, there are some sources on campus that you can go to. You can email, call, visit. If we're open in the fall, you can visit. Counselors. So you have a you you can have counsel. If uh, it's affecting your mental health, then you seek you look for mental health uh, counseling advisement. So you you have a lot of uh, personal relationship counseling. So uh, there are a lot of things that a lot of resources that are available to you 
so that you can strengthen your interpersonal uh, and uh, interdependence uh, so that you're not just out there by yourselves, but indeed you are working with uh, uh, the right sources to help you. Uh, the successful student, and this is page 160, uh, 163, uh, develops mutually supportive relationships, recognizing that life is richer when given to and receiving from others. Remember, and the struggling student. So the successful student versus the struggling student. That is what this is trying to help you understand. You can remain dependent or co-pendent and or you can become independent. In, in relations to others, you, uh, you fail to recognize when you need support and you struggle to request help. When you need the help, you're struggling because you, you saw yourself not understanding what the professor was discussing, but you didn't develop the interdependence needed to seek out that help. It's important to seek out that help. Okay? So don't be afraid uh, to, to seek out help. The successful student listens and shows concern for others through thoughts and through feelings. The struggling student listens poorly and demonstrates little desire to understand other people's perspective or experience. The successful student respects cultural differences, understanding how to achieve success in a world of increasing diversity. Okay, now, is our society changing from your perspective or is it just black, African-American? Are there more people living in this world, in this society, than blacks? Talk to me, unmute yourselves. You said there's more people living in this world than blacks. Yes. Because, yes, talk to me. Uh, your book is trying to get you to understand that you have to respect cultural differences. There are some people, students, who only want to interact on campus. When they graduate, they only want to interact uh, with certain groups of people, but on their jobs, there are diversity of individuals from all different cultural perspectives. And if you don't know how to interact, you probably are not going to hold that job very long if you don't understand cultural differences. Because it's more than just culture. There also, I had a student who was educating uh, his or her peers. Uh, the student said, uh, she said, I'm transitioning from a male to a female. And I would appreciate you all not referring to me by the pronoun of he, he, he. But I'm a she. So you have to understand what happens when those students keep um, not recognizing or not respecting those students who have different uh, culture or different backgrounds. What does the Dean of Students through the handbook have to say about that? Unmute yourself. Un unmute yourselves. Yes. The student handbook. And you'll see a lot of... I'm going to look it up. Okay. <laughs> All right. When we come back on the hour, I want you to be able to tell me about that one at uh, 3 o'clock, okay? I want you to look, up it up, look it up through your student handbook. Have that available. Have your syllabus available. Have your... Uh, on uh, line 
textbook available uh, so that we can uh, get through a few things very easily. Yeah, we're going to uh, stop in a couple of minutes, uh, and but but we'll I'll call you back at uh, on the hour, three o'clock, uh, my time. Okay, uh, fear, attack, and judging people uh, inappropriately. You have to watch that. Uh, becoming fearful of another person from a different background uh, and uh, judging those people inappropriately. That is, you're going to always be a struggling student. Uh, the book is reminding us. Uh, this is Skip Downing's work. So any questions? Any questions? We have a lot of assignments to do. And... Uh, your course catalog, where's your course catalog found? That's on your midterm. You're gonna pull up your course catalog, it's on Philander's website, under Academic Affairs. And then you'll be able to see what the course catalog contains, the information. Well, uh, thanks a lot. That's, uh, um, any more questions? Yes, I'm on the same age. How do I get to the book? You just put your. Uh, did Rocky, you? I'm, all, I'm already in, but. Oh, you'll see a a blue book over to the right. It'll be a dictionary, thesaurus, pencil, notes, and all of those. Uh, and then you see that blue book. You can open it up. Uh, are you on? The, are you that far? Yes, sir. Okay, you see that blue book. Um, it's a person. Oh, okay. oh, you got on quickly. How did you get the link? <laughs> oh, no. Um, I'm on the laptop. Only. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, all right, then. It's, um, uh, I'll call you back in the hour. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. And then we're going to start some of your assignments. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, any questions uh, from the other student? Any questions? No. No question. All right. All right. I'll see you shortly. Now uh, you got a. You have an appointment. Did you email me? You had an appointment. Are you? You. Will I see you? Okay.